In this podcast episode, I'm going to tell you 10 reasons why I think you really need to take up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Last night, me and my wife watched all the Star Wars films back to back. Lucky I was the one facing the telly. Hi there, my name's James and thank you so much for checking out my BJJ family podcast. I started training in 2016, when presently a three-stripe purple belt, although quite often I feel like a no-stripe white belt, which actually isn't a terrible thing. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu offers significant mental health benefits alongside the physical benefits of doing a really good exercise. Number one, stress relief. If, like me, you're a parent, then stress is going to be something that's intertwined in your life. I've also struggled with my mental health, and quite often me going to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the one difference between me describing it as it being a good day or a bad day. I'm confident that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is probably saving relationships around the world. Quite bizarrely, getting choked or armbarred is a very, very good way to relieve stress. And it doesn't even have to be you that's doing the armbarring or the choking. I've often tried to explain it to my wife, who seems utterly baffled how these people who are basically trying to choke me are people who I would consider very close friends. The intense physical activity of BJJ really helps you to stay in the present moment. And as someone who struggles with OCD and therefore is often troubled by intrusive thoughts, staying in the present moment is something I struggle to do. The one consistent thing I would say when I come into a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class, I'm probably worrying about something. Did I put the handbrake on the car? Did I leave it in first gear? Did those bricks I put under all the wheels so there's no chance to roll back and move? The brick analogy was a joke, the first two words. When you've got someone on your chest, Basically, trying to find grips around your neck so they can choke you and therefore submit you. You haven't really got a lot of headspace to think about anything else but that. And if you're like me, just having that space, that hour and a half, to not think about anything else is a very important part of my day. And the second reason I think Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for your mental health, it really boosts self-confidence. One of the main reasons, if not the main reason, I took up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is in 2016, I was the Brighton Seafront officer. I was part of the team in charge of trying to keep Brighton Hove, seafronts and proms safe. This often included rescuing people out of the sea, supporting the emergency services and helping the police with situations like lost children, but quite often petty crime. And when we were called to assist a police officer who was trying to restrain a really nasty guy who was stealing things from local shops, when the police officer got assaulted, and was bleeding profusely from his head. And friends of the guy we were trying to arrest were getting very aggressive. That incident really rattled me. And it made me think, if this was to happen to me, I have absolutely no techniques. So from that moment on, I was starting to think, I really need to learn some self-defense. And I can definitely say that taking up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has helped with my self-confidence. Certainly in situations like when I was a seafront officer and we had to go and deal with antisocial behavior or life and death situations like a water-based rescue. Whether it's mastering a technique or just feeling more comfortable about being in a confrontational situation like you are when you're sparring, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu will really help you feel more self-confident and that will positively infiltrate every other element of your life. And the third reason Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for your mental health, it improves focus and mental clarity. BJJ requires intense concentration and problem-solving skills be that during sparring or drilling, I often feel like I'm actually rewiring my brain. When I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it felt like everything I was being asked to do was the opposite of what my brain wanted me to do. And I remember a black bar actually helpfully telling me, the first thing you learn in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is that you know nothing, which can be quite a difficult thing to come to terms with if, like me, up until that point, you thought you could handle yourself. I remember at my trial class, I was like, I really don't want to hurt her. I remember being quite gentle. Four or five arm bars later, even after I've used every bit of strength and energy and power I had, then it did absolutely nothing. I thought, I have to learn this. What is this magic thing? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu really helps you to stay present, which is something that I think that if you have a busy life or if you're living on planet Earth and then therefore being bombarded with information 24 hours a day is a very difficult thing to do. And the fourth reason Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu helps your mental health it helps you to develop patience and resilience. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a long-term journey and you'll have lots and lots of setbacks along the way. I don't know how accurate these statistics are, but apparently only 10% of people who take a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu actually make it to their blue belts. 
And apparently out of 100 people who will take a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, only one of those 100 people will actually end up becoming a black belt. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the hardest thing I've ever tried to do, apart from being a dad. And in a world that seems more and more bothered by instant gratification, the idea of taking up something that may take you decades to learn and be proficient at is probably just too much for people to handle. All I would urge you to do is to take it up and don't think beyond your next class, which is really difficult. Because as a white belt, all you want to be is a blue belt. And as a blue belt, all you want to be a purple belt and so on. Each belt has its challenges. And there probably hasn't been a training session where I haven't had a voice in my mind going, yeah, don't do it today. You're tired. One thing you will not get on this YouTube channel is any tips about how to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Because I'm not there yet. I'm not even halfway there yet. But the benefits that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gets beyond the mats are massive. And actually, I think it's a very good leveler for your life. Apart from the mental and physical benefits, I've made some fantastic friends. The connections you make with people who quite bizarrely are trying to choke you or armbar you or basically physically overpower you are very, very strong. And the fifth reason Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for mental health, it really reduces anxiety. I've had days when I've gone in so stressed and so anxious that I've really had to talk myself to go down and train. Within 10 minutes, I feel like a different person. And one of the best feelings I ever get during the week is the feeling I get while I'm walking back to my car having just trained Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Engaging in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu helps to activate the body's parasympathetic nervous system. And this in turn helps to reduce stress hormones like cortisol. The rhythmic nature of grappling, paired with the physical exertion and the camaraderie that you feel on the mat, can really help to calm your mind and alleviate any feelings you may have of anxiety. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has got me through some dark times. When I lost my dad, when I've lost several jobs, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu didn't fix that, but it gave me a very healthy perspective about that. And the sixth reason Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu helps your mental health, it helps to promote mindfulness. I keep coming back to the fact that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu helps you to be present, not just on the map, but just in your life in general. And I often feel I just become more grateful and aware of things around me. I'm more grateful of the time I spend with my children. I'm more grateful for the love and support I get from my wife. And as someone who struggles with intrusive thoughts, it really helps to reduce ruminating thoughts. If you started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I imagine like most people and myself eight years ago, you might now feel you're slightly addicted to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Starting Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu can be quite an enlightening experience, especially if you've been going through a difficult time in your life when you've been struggling with your mental health. And the seventh reason why BJJ is so good for your mental health, it will give you a massive sense of accomplishment. Just doing a class will make you feel quite proud of the fact that you had the courage to get up and go and do a class. And I have to say, some of the major compliments, like getting a stripe or even getting a different belt, will make you unbelievably yeah. proud of yourself. There are times as a 48-year-old dad of three where I'm a bit ashamed to admit how excited I get about getting a little stripe of white sticky material around my jiu-jitsu belt. It's not about the belt and it's not about the stripes. It's about what they mean. If you've earned a Brazilian jiu-jitsu belt, like a blue belt or a purple belt, basically showing that you've put yourself in a difficult position for an unlimited amount of time. You've had lots and lots of beatings you've put yourself in a physically and mentally demanding scenario that most human beings would not want to be in. That's admirable. And the eighth reason that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for mental health, it will make you part of a very strong community. As I said before, I've made some fantastic friends doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's going to put you in a gene pool of very like-minded human beings. And these are people that you may have absolutely nothing in common off the mats. It's not about we're friends because our kids go to the same football club. It's not about we're friends because we work together. It's basically, I admire you because you're doing something that's really difficult. You meet interesting, like-minded people who are doing something that's really challenging. BJJ gyms are well known for fostering a tight-knit, supportive community. And if you train at a club, you're part of that community. Being part of such an environment helps to combat things like loneliness, provides social support, and encourage positive interactions that basically will improve your mental health. And the ninth reason that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is so good for your mental health, 
It helps to promote emotional regulation. As I said before, I feel like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu basically reprograms your mind. In BJJ, you will often face uncomfortable or challenging situations, especially during sparring. We all have an ego, and if you're anything like me, you may have a bit of a battle with your ego. And training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu will really help to put your ego in its place. You may go into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class thinking you're one thing, and you might come out realizing you're something else. But that clarity will help your life in ways you can't understand now. Learning how to remain calm in these difficult situations will really help. And as I said before, when I used to work as a seafront officer and had to do quite challenging and distressing things, like delivering CPR, using a defibrillator, trying to talk to someone who was suicidal out of the sea, I'm absolutely definite that training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu really helped me with dealing with these situations. It helps you to keep calm and be methodical and only worry about what's directly in front of you. And the 10th reason that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is great for your mental health really helps you to increase self-awareness. BJJ will push you to recognize your strengths and weaknesses. And if you can manage those times where, like me, you get tapped by a two-stripe white belt or a teenager or someone you were paired up with at their trial class two months ago, if you can manage your ego and push down those feelings of embarrassment or shame, you're becoming a better person. And I haven't as yet found activity that's helped me have a strong relationship with my ego or my sense of self than Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The self-awareness that you get from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu helps you to think about your personal growth, who you are. It doesn't just help you to be better on the mats. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have stuck to or started a podcast, a YouTube channel, written any books, left a job that was great but wasn't my passion, attempted the treacherous road of being self-employed without Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The skills I learned doing this activity will help you in all areas of your life. It's really helped me to address insecurities I've got about myself and basically approach my life in a more realistic and grounded perspective. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu really helps you to get to know who you are, warts and all. It helps you promote your strengths and work on your weaknesses. It never feels good to get beaten by someone on the mats who, in my mind, as a three-strike purple belt, I shouldn't be getting beaten by. And that's anyone less than a three-strike purple belt. But actually, BJJ has really helped me to realize the only person I'm competing with is myself. There's actually no point in comparing my skill level or progression with someone else who has different time, different physical and mental capabilities than me. The only person I'm competing with is myself. And that's enough. It's enough of a battle for me to overpower the voice that's going, no, I don't train today. BJJ's a game changer, I'm really not capping. I've trained for eight years, spent a lot of that tapping. The one thing I know to be true is BJJ is good for you. If you struggle with your mental health, please follow this directive. BJJ can improve your life, cause it'll improve your perspective. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And if you like what I'm trying to do, please hit subscribe and maybe think about sharing this video with a friend. And if you'd like to watch a recent video I did with a friend of mine, it's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, please click the link here or here, could be here. I hope wherever you're on the world, you're okay, take care.